You can take the boy out of Brooklyn, but you cannot take the Brooklyn out of the boy. My name is Lenny Nelson, and Barry and I have been friends since the beginning of, our, of the seventh grade. We shared many great moments together, and just uh, and he just called me two weeks ago to wish me a uh, happy birthday. We fit together like puzzle pieces, each beginning uh, bringing something different to the friendship. He was the most loyal and generous person I had ever met. I was a poor kid growing up in, in a housing project in Brooklyn. I was embarrassed to receive a free lunch, so Barry and I had a plan. For the next three years, I tutored Barry daily, and in return, he bought me lunch. He was given one dollar uh, for lunch money daily, which at that time was more than enough uh, to pay for two lunches. Barry was so generous that at times I needed to remind him that unless I, I helped him academically, I did not want to receive a handout. My final responsibility in high school was out was obtaining one final grade for Barry. He was concerned that he may not have passed the course. In the school basement were listed uh, the student grades by ID numbers. I went uh, up to the listing board while Barry waited at the other end of the hallway for my response. <clears throat> as soon as I found his name, and that he had passed the course. I turned to him, gave him a thumbs up. Barry ran down the hallway and jumped into my arms. It was like the, the iconic moment in baseball when Yogi Berra jumped in Don Lawson's uh, arms after he pitched a perfect game in a 1956 World Series. We still, almost 50 years later, reminisced about that moment many times. After high school, we both physically left Brooklyn, and although we went our separate ways, we remained in touch over the last few years, as uh, uh, for many years. Over the last few years, as his health declined, he confided to me about uh, aspects of his health. As a physician, um, I tried my best to offer him suggestions on his medical issues. It was very clear to me how serious his health issues were, and yet Barry always believed that the cup was half full. When I found out that Barry died, I was overcome with grief. The ravages of diabetes had finally won out. I've known Barry for almost 56 years, and the base core of his personality has never changed. His love for sports and, uh, was only secondary to his love for family and friends. I will miss his phone call on March 14th, reminding me each year to call him the following day on his birthday. I want to end the video the way I always ended our many talks over the years. Be good to yourself. Stay well. I love you, man.